bright lights have been activated. NFC, AFC Championship Games, the road to the Super Bowl, the road to 1,000 subscribers here in the Sports Opinion Log, Lex Anderson World. The smoke has settled. The dust has cleared. And now we are left with two. The Kansas City Chiefs taking on the San Francisco 49ers for the greatest trophy in all of professional football. The Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54. And who shined the brightest when the lights of the postseason turned on? Like, like my shovel pass is a given winner, I'm going to break it down. The winners, and of course, unfortunately, the losers. So let's go. So I'm just going to break down when the clock hit all zeros. NFC Championship game, like the prophet had decreed. Look for Aaron Rodgers, discount double dud. I said look for him to fail and look for the 49ers to dismantle, to demoralize, to destroy and humiliate. And they did. Final score 37-20 as the 49ers are back at Super Bowl and discount double dud failed miserably as it was truly a pure NFC ground game. Raheem Mosert, 29 carries, for 220 yards and not one, not two, not even three, but four touchdown runs. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That is truly a blueprint for success. John Lynch knew what he was doing. He revamped the O-line. He revamped the defensive line. He added a running game. And how about Jimmy G? My man didn't even have to do much. Jimmy G... Six of eight for 77 yards, the lowest passing yards in a playoff game since 1973. And of course, this count double dud Aaron Rodgers, 11 for 39, 326 yards, two touchdowns and two INTs. And I believe I, there was a fumble there also somewhere in the first half. So that is great. And, you know, I'm just so happy that discount double dud Aaron Rodgers got shut down. His team got shut down. The run defense literally got trampled all up and down the field as the Niners are back in the Super Bowl. And how about it? Richard Sherman with the game ending INT. How apropos, how fitting to the moment. Truly a perfect ending. And now the Niners... Also, the sports historian, I have to note, the 49ers are 5-1 and one in the Super Bowl. The only QB to have ever lost, Colin Kaepernick. Four by the legendary Joe Montana, one by Steve Young. And, of course, the Prophet had decreed that it would be the Titans to beat the Chiefs, but, unfortunately, it was not meant to be. Final score, 35-24 is your final score as Patrick Mahomes showed off the arm and he showed off the legs. And anyone who watched the game can clearly tell you that when Mahomes broke free for that touchdown run, that pretty much tilted the game in their favor. They were rolling. Derrick Henry, 19 carries for only 69 yards. Mahomes, who carried his team to victory, 23 of 35. 294 yards, three touchdowns, including eight carries, 53 yards, and again, one touchdown. Hell, he had even hit Tyreek Hill in stride for a touchdown pass. And, you know, when you see that Mahomes is on, there's really nothing much you can do. I'm feeling hyped. I'm feeling antsy. Does the Prophet there decree who the winner of Super Bowl 54 is going to be? The answer is actually no, because in order to be a part about that, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay notified for that upcoming future video where the Prophet will decree the winner of Super Bowl 54. So there you have it, sports fans nationwide. My sports opinion loggers, thank you for dropping those comments below. Keep them coming. Let me know what you're thinking and how you're feeling. If my boy Eddie's out there watching... I'm very happy that your Packers lost, and I'm very happy that your quarterback, who I label discount double dud Aaron Rodgers, got humiliated like Ida Prophet had decreed for the world to see. Until next time, sports fans, it's your boy Lex Anderson signing out.